Now, this is strategy number two, okay? This one where you wanna use a, want a shotgun, just above me right now, and I use a lavalier, okay? Right now, I'm just testing, testing out a different setup, but usually, we also have two redundancy. Whatever microphone is your main, you decide that, okay? Whatever sound space, you decide that is your main audio source. Right now, I'm just test, testing it out, which audio source is better. Predominantly, in Hollywood production, they have a lavalier stuck to their talents. Okay, usually they hide away somewhere, the microphone, so you can't see it. But I'm just doing a talking head, so the microphone is here, it's fine. It's in the camera, to show in the camera. But a shotgun mic, right now, that, that, that I'm using, is out of the frame. Now, with, with a boom microphone, usually in Hollywood, they have a, a separate guy just to do audio. The boom, the microphone. When someone speaks, an actor speaks, an actress speaks, they whip the microphone to that person, back and forth. But for, for this kind of production right here, I'm just boom it up, just above me. I have nobody helping me out. I'll do a B-roll later to show you what is my setup as well, okay? It's always to do a test shot as well. It doesn't matter which type of video or audio backup. Now, the level could be our backup or the boom microphone could be our backup. That depends on what is your preferences. But usually, the shotgun mic sounds better. Most of the time, it sounds better because it's more natural sounding voice. When it's the narration coming out, it more, sounds more natural. Because this one is right stuck right here. It's very kind of, you know, chesty. But out of boom mic, it more sounds a little bit better. Now, always do a test shot first. Do not make a rookie mistake, please. I just did a mistake in this production as well. So please do a test shot. Now hear back the audio to see any RF interference. Usually that is the main concern, okay? On any noise that we can't check, okay? But usually the boom operator, operator they, they are monitoring the audio real, real time. But for us, low budget, no budget production, we have to do a bit more work. Okay, so take our time, do a test shot, listen to it, and hope that no other source of video that can disrupt our audio production. Now, it only takes 30 seconds to do a test shot. Don't be lazy, don't be lazy, okay? Do a test shot, test shot, test shot. And don't forget the three claps. Three claps, that's to sync your audio. Preferably, do at the beginning, record, three claps, then talk. Okay, so what's the rule? Press record on all your devices, three claps, then talk. Okay, so record all device, three claps, talk. So trifecta workflow. Do you know how to do a, a redundancy audio recording now? I, I have shown you the cheap option to a more moderate option. Now you are not a rookie anymore, okay? So don't make this mistake, hey, like, like not pre pre pressing a recording, <laughs> just like I, I just did just then, just to show you guys, of course, okay? I, I just do that just to show you guys, hey, don't this, make this rookie mistake. Do a test shot, three claps, storytelling. Okay, so free factor. Now, I hear a lot of story that guys say that I do all my take, one camera, one audio source. And guess what? They did not turn on the microphone after one hour of talking head like this. Now, if they watch my video, share it around please, then they know that you need to do a test shot. Okay, <laughs> test shot. Then have two audio recording, three claps, and storytelling and you are not gonna make that same rookie mistake. Now you are not a rookie anymore. Let's go out there and record some great audio and video.